just to speak on these coaching clinics, because I've been I've been to a couple of them. Man, Mark, I don't remember the last time we actually had a keynote for the University of Miami as far as like them being the one who runs it. Uh, and our like head coach being, except for Mark Rick, that was the last time that we really had like a Miami Hurricanes football coaches clinic that had as much cachet. Um, and this was taken to a whole different level, bringing in a Super Bowl coach to speak. But, you know, what really happens at these is a lot more deals than people think. Okay, so this is basically a, um, you know, for those who are fluent in politician, a lobbyist opportunity uh, where, you know, you really just get there and you start to exchange contact information um, because agents do a lot of stuff to help people get jobs, but it's nothing like being able to shake hands, put a name to a face. Uh, you also have like your fraternities, your D9, um, um, you know, people as far as the fraternities and things that nature that they're a part of, uh, whether it's D9 or non-denominates to, you know, where they join all these fraternities and people just sit and say, all right, the, the, the Kappa coaches or, you know, Alpha coaches or whatever uh, come together. So it, it gets kind of clicky, but that's why it, it's important. And the more they see your face, the more they keep an eye out for you and the more they look out for, um, you know, where you're going, whether you're taking a step down to high school or you go in and you say, hey, man, I think my, my offensive coordinator is willing to step away. Do you have anybody in mind? So a lot, a lot of these things are happening, especially for – you know, for me personally, with the grad assistant positions, that's where you really get your opportunity to put name to face. Because, I mean, these coaches get hundreds and hundreds of applicants year in and semester in and semester out. So here are opportunities for at these coaching clinics that are um, some of the best that money can't even buy. Because, you know, hey, you walk up and say, I'm so-and-so Holloway, nice to meet you. Uh, oh, nice to meet you, too. Here's a card and things of that nature. And but what are you into? What are some of your interests? What do you like to do? What's your specialty? Things of that nature. You sit down, you just start talking ball and special teams and all kinds of stuff that you get into. You go to all these different specific clinics. And when you have the coaching clinic, then you have, of course, defensive line, defensive tackle specific meetings, edge rush specific meetings, blitz specific meetings, um, coverage for linebackers, coverage for secondary, cornerback, safety. Like it gets real specific. And you have some of the best minds who sit and break it down to uh, different coaches. And how do you do this out of the three, four, even odd stack the four, three, you know, it, it gets really, really important, man. And networking is amongst the best that you can do. And, um, you know, just, just from a firsthand standpoint with those coaching clinics, it, it is amazing. And you wonder why like people from Eastern Connecticut get jobs at like Kentucky. Or, you know, things that this is because they built a relationship somewhere down the line. Um, and, and, and one of their head coach knows a guy or gets promoted. and uh, It's all in who you know and who knows you. So uh, these, these coaching clinics are very, very important to build a nice networking base, uh, especially for coaches in the University of Miami area.